Celebrity Zone. I'm your hostess with the mostest. I'm your girl, Angeline Manjai. Karibuni tena sana. DJ Fasta has been holding it down while some of us have been getting our makeup done. <laughs> you know what? Uh, welcome to the show. I'm your DJ, DJ uh -huh. Fasta, aka the big man on the ones and twos. All right, so what yeah. are you going to be playing for guys tonight? Uh, hit music. Uh -huh. Music that you can dance to. Yeah, all the sorts of songs that you can dance to. Yeah. Because it's a Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you've got to be partying in the house or wherever you are. All right, guys, yeah. it's a feel good Friday. Nothing but good vibes. Hit us up on social media with your request using the hashtag Team Afterburn. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Keep It. Because feel free to also join our WhatsApp group 0722919999. You can also hit us up directly at Angeline Wanjeri at DJ Festa254. Yes, and as promised, our guest for tonight. We do not call it a celebrity zone for nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, <laughs> stop. Oh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. So these guys have a long list. They have a long profile. Honestly, man, I literally had to write this stuff down. So we have Neil Shell, who is a Canadian actor. He's a director, he's mm. a producer, mm. he's a writer, mm. he's a performance coach. Have mm. I missed anything out? No, that's No, good. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Yeah? yeah yes. Thank you so much for being here, uh, Neil. You're welcome. All right, then Pleasure. we also have Nice Gidinji, who is an actress, producer, singer, TV show host. Madam, have I left anything out just in case? Yes, voice actor. Voice yeah. actor. Oh, okay. okay, sorry, my yes. bad. New music video director. I yes. just did my first music video. Oh, oh my god, congratulations. Oh my gosh, <laughs> man. And let me say, you look amazing because the last time we saw each other was Subira. Mm -hmm. That was in 2018. Yes. Yeah, 2018. And I'm such a huge fan of the movie. You, Brenda, Wairimo, the whole cast, you guys did an amazing job. Thank you. So, yeah. Asante Sana for being here with us Asante, tonight. Asante, thank you for inviting me. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now remember, if you have any questions, we're going to be talking movies, the film industry. We're going to be talking acting right here on the show. If you have any questions, hit us up, send them through using that hashtag, Team After Burn. So you've both acted, you've mm. both played various roles in the movie industry. What would you say have been your favorite roles to date? You first. They <laughs> <laughs> say your name first. That's no. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I think the best experience mm -hmm. I, I've had is working with Liam Neeson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That guy is so hot. He's, he's mm -hmm. a really nice man. He's fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's, he is he's a nice really guy. really calm, not mm -hmm. like his characters at all. Mm -hmm. You know, the tough guy that beats yeah. everybody up. He's not mm -hmm. like that at all. He's very polite. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really great guy. So yeah. I, that was a really fantastic experience for me that was on yeah. the a the, the, a, -team, the a team yeah yeah okay the other the other thing i did was uh, a show called a movie called watchmen mm -hmm. and that was it was like a 140 million dollar movie or something wow. it was an incredible i only did a scene mm -hmm. but the scene took three nights to shoot Whoa. and uh it was unbelievable unbelievable yeah i got to work with zach snyder the director mm -hmm. and uh you know, you learn so much from these kind of people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those those two yeah. were really up mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Honestly, like legit, it's hard to pick, okay? Because mm -hmm. it so happens, you like one thing, and then the next thing you're cast for is better. Mm -hmm. However, so far, I think my favorite has to be Subira in Ganya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And but then again, it's that thing. Ganya is Ganya and Subira are the most latest things I did. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what we're doing this year. That's gonna be the best. Yeah. yeah. So what would you say like pulled you into acting? Was this something that you'd always wanted to do? Am I something that you picked up like later on? So it was by fluke to be honest. Of course we all grew up doing those things in high school, right? Or primary school, mm -hmm. you're doing drama, this and that. But then after high school, I was going to go to do from five and six and then end up uh, and go to McKinley and do law. Mm -hmm. And then life happened. You were going to be a lawyer? Yeah, bro. Oh my I would God. Have been, like, the You'd have been a good lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> right? I think so. She would have. She would have, right? So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, life happened. And so it was because I, I had been in drama. And um, something happened. Somebody came to my school and he had been in my school before. I asked him, hey, you're doing professional acting. Long story short, I got into it. So it's nothing I really planned for. It's one of those. The universe gave me a lemon and then I bought tequila. And yeah. Shot. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this. 
<laughs> yeah. So Neil, out of all the things that you've done, you know, acting, directing, producing, mm. writing, mm. Um, performance coach, what would you say has been your favorite role? You talked about favorite character, favorite mm. role. I, I would say directing mm -hmm. because uh, I actually used to be an editor too. Mm -hmm. You know, in the old days when you mm -hmm. cut film. <laughs> It was about a hundred times slower than it is now, mm -hmm. but uh, I, you know, when I started directing, I realized I used everything I had learned and done in the industry all at once, and uh, I just love it. I, I have a knack for it. Mm -hmm. I love actors, and I love the process. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's tough, mm -hmm. but uh, it doesn't really bother me. It's really great. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just can't. Beat it with yeah. Else. Writing is cool. Pr uh, producing, <laughs> producing mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. a necessity. It's the thing you do because <laughs> you have. To. Okay, <laughs> it's one of those you have to do yeah. things. But uh, there's some fun in that too. You know, negotiating, getting contracts, uh, making deals, that kind of thing. Finding the right people. Yeah. You know. There's, yeah. There's, it's kind of fun, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know something that I noticed. Not many people like wait for the end credits, like of a movie. Mm. But then I started doing that. And something that I've always asked myself, and I've always wondered, is what? <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I can probably <laughs> predict this question. <laughs> yeah. What is the difference between a producer and a director? A like, lot. Who, yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay. This is this is what I what I kind of figured out once, and yeah, I, it's yeah. sort of true. Mm -hmm. uh, producers want to direct, but they can't handle the work. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> <laughs> producers now they're all going to stop. <laughs> but uh, no, they're quite different. The producer deals with uh, you know the company that buys the show. They deal with the money. They deal with who gets hired, who gets fired. Uh, you know, a director can kind of hire and fire too, and does mm -hmm. if needed. But uh, yeah, and then the director is just—it's about getting that story onto film so that the audience understands it, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's really key. Mm -hmm. And and the producer is sort of, you know, they come to set whenever, you know. It's the guy who says we need we will eat this much. This is the budget. That's right. <laughs> this is how much. This is. Yeah, it's all get. about the money. So the producer is all about the money, yeah. symbols, but the, the director, it's budgets. all about the, the feel, the, the creative, creative side. Okay. But the director has to pay attention to it, the budget something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So who get paid? Who gets paid more? Uh, it depends what name is the director <laughs> and what name is the producer. Usually the producers make more money, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. no. yeah. But most times you'll find that directors are sourcing for funds for their own films. Yeah. Oh, okay. and so, so they become a producer, exactly. too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Executive producer, actually. Yeah. 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 All right, so something else that you've done is that you've trained lots and lots of actors. I oh, mean, yes. that's 20 plus years of experience. Yeah. Who are some of the biggest? Actors, even here in Kenya, actresses that you've trained. Oh well, I worked with Nick Mutuma, mm -hmm. and I've worked with. He's uh, really good, Nick Mutuma. Yeah, yeah, he's good. And he's a very nice guy. Yeah. Uh, I worked with Joyce Maina. Mm -hmm. um, there's Asim. She's in this show called Maria or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I've worked with her recently. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's a few here. I haven't trained that many people here. I did a big class. You came to that once. Mm -hmm. There was like 90 people there, though. Yeah. That yeah. was sort of a, a lecture. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but um, yeah, and I, I trained. There's this woman who was on Hawaii Five-0 mm -hmm. called Grace Park. Mm -hmm. Trained her many years ago. Yeah. Many, many years ago. Yeah. Yeah. People like that. There's lots of them in Canada. That there's a kid actually mm -hmm. named Grayson Guernsey. Mm -hmm was in Saint. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I remember. No. You know what he's on now? No. Virgin River. Really? Yeah, he has a regular role. But when Virgin, Virgin River... He's in but, every episode. Virgin River is about this lady who who has to move to another place and yeah. in that place finds this man and yeah. blah, they find There's always a lady in a man. There's always a man. There's always a man. There's always a love story. No, it's always a love story. No, it can be anything. But yeah. yeah, he's in that. And he's now 19. He was nine at the time mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. he later. came here. Mm -hmm. And I trained him, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. I had been training him a year. And how it so happened, that's quite a story, but he got into Saints and played the son of the white Maybe. doctor mm -hmm. uh, who <laughs> <laughs> comes to save Africa, mm -hmm. right? Well, 
Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah, he did very well, and now that's what he's doing. Yeah. You know, and many actors like that I've trained. Yeah. That aren't super famous, mm -hmm. but they're mm -hmm. doing well. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Nis, did you have to train? Am I you? Did you have to train when your She's first a natural role? Did you, or was it a natural? That's the thing. You said you did drama and stuff like that, um, but did you have to like train, train, go to a coach? So no, I did not train. Mm -hmm. There's no place to train here, mm -hmm. but I am uh, from the YouTube Academy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Amen. I have every, yeah. mm -hmm. every workshop by Stella Adler, every, every, mm. every workshop there is about that is run by anyone who is anyone in the industry out there. Mm -hmm. I have done it. And I've gone for a couple of workshops. There's a lady here, she's called Melissa Kiplangat, mm -hmm. and she also does some workshops. So mm -hmm. whenever I come across a workshop, I think I could learn something from usually go, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, actually, it's, it's not like CPA or CG being a doctor. That you At go you go, you graduate, class. and then you're done. Yeah. You've learned everything. It's constant. It's weird that you constantly keep learning new things. Yeah, mm. and that's exactly what we were talking about like mm. before we came on the scene. Like, It's constant learning, yeah. like every day. I mean, mm. you're constantly meeting new people. You're constantly playing different roles. Mm -hmm. So it's all you have to adjust. Mm. You have to master new crafts. When, like when we were doing Lusala, we did a whole month's workshop before we started shooting. And then we learned so many things. Mm -hmm. I remember in that class you kept on thinking, my God, you know how you learn something and then you realize you've been doing it, you just didn't know what it's called. Yeah. So we, as actors, I swear, as actors we have so many of those moments because it so happens that we are great, mm -hmm. but we have no one to teach us. Mm -hmm. And so you do something and you don't know what it's called mm -hmm. or you don't know how to redo it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we did this workshop and it was really great and that's why how I also started training in 2019. Because then, if you don't train and you're not acting, you forget. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the the training helps you remember mm -hmm. somehow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So something else that I wanted to know: the difference between, I mean, you both have experience behind the camera and in front of the camera. Like, how are you able to tell a good actor from a bad one? Now he said he can do it in like seconds. <laughs> seconds. <laughs> so literally. Yeah. You know, from uh, someone's surely like in seconds you can be like ah nah. You know. So, what are some of those signs that you guys look out for? <laughs> <laughs> so, me, I don't look out for anything, to mm -hmm. be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think they're good and bad actors. I think they're actors and then they're non-actors. Mm -hmm. There's no bad acting. You just, you're either an actor or you're not, mm -hmm. right? Oh. And then it so happens that the ones who are non-actors, if you're a pretty girl who speaks some type of way and looks some type of way, and I'm doing a film that needs that character, I'll just come to, I'll cast you to play yourself. It's like Kim Kardashian in that movie or for yes. Tyler Perry. Or even Nicki Minaj, yeah, you understand? Exactly, so you I don't, get it. And I think we get, it, we get it twisted by saying we assume everyone is an actor because we're on TV. So it's sometimes you're an appearance, sometimes you're just coming to play yourself. Mm -hmm. How do you tell the difference? The eyes. So, wait, <laughs> no, you know there are some is, people who appeared in, in, some TV, in a TV show for like 30 seconds and then you go to their bio feed on uh -huh. Instagram and she's actress. I so think oh. everyone is an actor in this country. Everyone is an actor and a model. <laughs> yes. Right. Everyone is an actor and a model. Like, model. Like, <laughs> no, actor. Because when you're a model, you can translate you. Oh. If you're a model, someone will look at you and go like, ah, oh, your body doesn't look like it. Like, oh. yeah. But if you're an actor, mm -hmm. it's just to say, you haven't seen what I've acted in. Yeah. It's easy to convince yeah, sure, someone. Sure, if point. you say musician, <laughs> someone will go like, sing. But acting, everyone just yeah. gets away. <laughs> I'm an actor. <laughs> so what you look is, listen, to those, these people who just... <laughs> So I can also get away. I'm a DJ. Even you, by the way. Yeah, you can't tell me to right yeah. now. I'm a because you're on TV. You can mm -hmm. say I'm an actor. I'm an actor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're an actor. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> so I'm an actor. Yeah. I'm going to add that on yeah. the on my page. <laughs> All right, Neil, what about you? Uh, well, I, you know, the process here is way different than at home. Mm -hmm. It's quite strict there, and it's like you're lucky to get an audition. Really? Actually, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Like, if you get auditions, for real shows, you're an amazing actor, like just to get in the room. So here it's very, very different. It's wide open. Anybody can come. Uh, so you got to watch everybody, you know, and all Dental that. Dental structures. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, uh, it's a real different thing. <clears throat> so, you know, for example, for Monica, this season I had 400 submissions came to me on tape. Mm -hmm. Well, we call it tape, but no tape. Mm -hmm. uh, and I watched all of them, and I cast probably a dozen actors yeah. and so but you know you can tell really quick if someone's professional it's it's almost instant 
you know, mm -hmm. because they're, they're confident, they, they are present. That's a big thing, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Like they're not scared or nervous or, yeah. you know, and they're not overacting, mm -hmm. which is also another big thing <laughs> you watch for. And, but you're, what I'm looking for, like that's part of it. But what I'm really looking for is what's inside of them and does it fit the character as I kind of feel the character should be. Mm -hmm. And when I see it, I know it. And it's very quick. Yeah. Very quick. Yeah. Um, but sometimes I get fooled. Sarah Hassan fooled me, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I had uh, an audition for a role in Saints, and she came in and did it, and a whole bunch of other people. And I did not know her. I'd never seen her before. She was good, so I had her come in with someone else for a callback. We call it a callback, you know. I wanted to see them both again. But I was kind of leaning toward the other person. And I was, I had the other person audition first. I'm like, yeah, that, this, this person's good. And then Sarah came in, and I don't know, she did this little thing she does, and it totally grabbed me, and I was like, that's the character. Mm -hmm. She does this little curtsy thing she used to do mm -hmm. in, in Saints, if you've ever watched it, and it just blew me away. Mm -hmm. She became, that was it. She was it. Yeah. She was so connected to the character. Mm -hmm. So that, that can happen too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so for example, take someone like me. Mm. Can you tell by looking at someone that someone can be a good actor or actress? No. No. So you I have, have to, to see someone work. has to act out a scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to see you work. I can tell if you're uh, possibly the character I'm looking for, mm -hmm. but I don't know what your skill level yeah. is until I see you do something. Okay. You know, sometimes we could be so comfortable and have this big and boisterous personality outside, mm. and then but something mm. happens when you go in front of the camera. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 Yes. Like, I don't know what happens. But so, yeah. so you need to see someone work and you need to see them work in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it gets crazy. And you know, that's why it's hard to cast a new actor. Mm -hmm. You know, they might be really great in an audition and then you bring the set and it's like, whoa. Uh, they're nervous. They don't actually know how to work with the camera and the crew, which also is not good. Mm -hmm. And, and so you don't want to take a big risk on a new actor mm -hmm. unless you have lots of time and lots of money. Mm -hmm. So that's another reason why it's kind of hard to get in. I would say, you know, for actors out there, you want to get into TV, I would say get into theater. Like you probably did theater, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's such a great place where you can do big roles and you get used to it and you understand how to work it. And it's actually more demanding in some ways, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, a team Afterman, such an interesting conversation, discussion happening right here on Afterburn. Remember, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on social media using the hashtag Team Afterburn. And um, we're going on a short break, but we'll be right back. Remember, DJ Festa is taking in your requests. So send them through WhatsApp number 0722-919-999. Back to me.